YouTube. YouTube, we're essentially about five minutes in the future because we started on Facebook already. So I apologize. I did not hit the right button. I'm in a house coat tonight, YouTube. Just bringing up to date. Santa's here. It's very um, so yeah, it was Dean's birthday yesterday. Dean, Michael, if you didn't get a chance to look at it, um, we a picture. Let me see if I can find it for you. Um, we recreated a picture for Dean's birthday um, of a picture. You missed the last couple Tipsy Tuesdays. Do not do that again, Gina. Your life will not be as happy and fulfilled if you don't watch Tipsy Tuesdays. Um, I'm going to just put off off of the off of the intranet. Hold on, oh, let me find it. <clears throat> no, 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 I'll pull it up. Here it is. He's too, he's too. Okay, so I don't know. This might be too bright for you guys to see. Um, so this is the picture. Hold on, is it too bright? So this Dean, he is, I don't know, kindergarten. And then we recreated it here. Did you, I don't know. For those of you that might have missed it. Um, those are Jacqueline's uh, booty shorts, her her uh, volleyball shorts, and now she refuses to wear them. And she was real mad. She had those shorts again because Dean had his penis in it. And he was like, no, I didn't. And I was like, oh, he must have took it, taken it off. It's cool. No, that's – I don't even like to listen to teenagers because um, their poor language skills hurts my head. I don't know about the rest of you. But he literally responded like, no, I didn't. Like, it didn't even – didn't even dawn on him that he can't take his penis off. So that's nice. Okay. Um, so welcome. Welcome, YouTubers. There's 15 of you here. And I'm sure one of them is my mom, QVC Santa. QVC Santa is not going anywhere. He's going to be here every week. And he scares everyone in the middle of the night. Um, so, yeah, that's a lot. <clears throat> so there's a lot happening. So anyway, so it's Riesling week here. Um, yes, yeah, so you drank your Dr. Lucen Riesling last night. It was so good. I don't even know what I'm drinking yet. So let me take a sip. Uh, Jennifer. Okay, so Jen said, it's cracking up. And you said there's a whole bunch of you. So that picture I just showed you. When we took the original picture, it was probably a beautiful, joyful moment of Dean saying he's going to be Superman, and he went like this, and we all smile. We're like, this is some last night's picture, 18 years later, 14 years later, literally, we were all screaming at each other, and my mom was in charge. There was a the wreath, but we had to keep going back and take the picture. We're like, why is the wreath back there? And then... Jim was trying to hold him up, but, you know, we're all old and we're much older now. And Dean's leg was, it was a whole literally screaming at each other. And then the dogs kept walking through. I was like, yeah, I'm so glad that we're doing this picture. It was like that. You know, when you have, it's base, it was basically Christmas. You know, when you have a lot of good intentions and you want people to get together. Um, yeah. Yeah, Jeremy, I don't know how you're here either when you're driving. Are you watching me while you're driving? Poor Jim looks so uncomfortable. He did in the redo. He's like, Ugh. China. Yeah. Jim basically had a hard time just standing up from the squatting position. And that was before he was holding Dean, just to give you a little perspective. But that was the truth. Okay. So it's Riesling. Um, I am not, um, I don't drink a lot of Riesling to my knowledge. I'm a Chardonnay girl now. Um, but let's see what, uh, what Missy has done. So Missy shops. Missy has a one funny mother credit card and she goes and she buys stuff. And then she brings it here, and I have no. Oh, there's a nice price difference. So this is one card. Oh, yeah, she changed it up a little. She did change it up. So our wines are between six dollars and fifteen dollars. So for those people now, just so you know, if you're just joining us, um, yeah, like where do I put my head? I'm telling you, and the whole shirt thing where his shirt was up to here and it wasn't. Jack was like, "This shirt is wrong." <laughs> really fun times. Okay, so this is called Riesling. This is not helpful at all. Lucen Brothers. There, Dr. Lucen. Oh, that's who you were talking about. That's what the DR means. Okay. okay. Here we go. My daughter will be 18 in March. Kimberly. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm already weeping. He's going to go to college in eight, eight, nine months, and I'm already starting to cry. Yeah, no, there's Brie tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look. And we need to talk about the Brie because nobody really knows. Are you supposed to eat the white stuff? We'll talk about it. I don't really know. I've never had a bad Riesling. All right. So this is Dr. Lucen. This is middle of the road, and this is $8. Then we have Schmidt. Um, 
Schmitzon family. This is the $6 wine. And um, I guess we'll try that one. Oh, what is it? I mean, here's the funny thing is Missy will get these wines. And if they're crap, I always feel like if, if she buys a big jug of it, it's always the crap. Because this is what we'll have here at the house for like another six weeks. You're because right. we're like, does anybody want this? My daughter, my dad calls my daughter Brie. Her name is Bria. Oh, that's Brie. Um, don't eat the white stuff. All right, Melissa. Melissa says don't eat oh, the white stuff. Don't eat the white stuff. <clears throat> what is the white stuff? We don't know. Uh, all right, so this one is called Relax. This is the most expensive. So it's $15 a bottle. Uh, put these in a blind taste test. So we'll be able to tell you. I will tell you in general, I will always pick the cheapest wine is my favorite. I'm drinking my favorite wine that I've had to drive a thousand miles across. What? I missed the rest of it. You have to tell me what you want. What do you do with all the leftover wine? I try to pawn it off on people that stop over. And depending on how much I like them, I will offer them the better or not better <laughs> wine, right? So if it's like my sister, depend. Hey, Sonia Bill, how are you? What's wrong with your eyes, girl? You put something up. You said something wrong with eyes. It was like dirt or ash. Where are you, where are you living in California? You got ash in your eye. We got to talk on the phone. We got to sit down and have some of this. Other people here, we have to catch up. I'm coming to California, Sonia. I'm coming to La Mirada. Does that mean anything to you? It's in March. I'm going to stay at your house, just so you know. Get your eyes worked. Cleaned up, please. All right. So this is nice. This is a smooth... I like it. It's not too sweet. I'm not a fan of a sweet wine. Party glass, <laughs> which um, has just a couple circles. Can you use it in your cooking? This? Sure. I think you can use wine in anything, right? The stuff you don't drink fast and your tank before you know that it hits you. Really? Then why don't I drink more Riesling? All right, here we go. <clears throat> so I like this first one. So I must like Riesling. You guys should really try. Riscato. It's a nice room. That's different from Muscato? Ooh. Yeah, no, I like this first one. It's a little sweet, though. Uh, never heard of LA, whatever. When I was drinking wine, only drank. Relax, the blue bottle. All right. Oh, you, you like the blue one? I don't know which one I like yet. I'll tell you a second. And when the dog has like peanut butter. But... Yes, La Mirada Theater, Karen, I'm gonna be there. Mirada, Ma Mirada is where my daughter lives. Fires in the LA area. That's, Sonia must be helping to put the fires out. She had that on Facebook, her eyes were hurting. Mm. Oh, sweet wine isn't good. I don't like this. Party wine? I don't like party wine. <clears throat> no, this first one's better. We call Moscato Muscato. <laughs> Rescato. Look, Missy's knowing her wines now. Rescato is a is a wine. I never heard of it. Than I normally than I normally. Hi, Cynthia. Are you dancing still, Cynthia? It's been a while. All right, this one smells good. Mmm, these two are good. I like that one. That one's gonna be the $15 wine. I bet you the one I hate is the $15 wine. I'm trying to read Stephanie's face. She doesn't give anything away. All right, hold on. So now we're down to two. My blind test taste is Robitussin, Mucinex, and NyQuil. Amazing. Cheers to that. I mm -hmm. will throw up for all of those. Dion, welcome. It's your first Tipsy Tuesday. You're gonna love it. You need at least a glass of wine in each hand. Here are the rules for Tipsy Tuesday. The normal rules are <clears throat> you have to be in jammies, no bra and a glass of your favorite something in hand. Um, we did add a house coat now that we are in December. House, house coat. coats are optional. What did the, somebody say? It was the hoodie. What'd she say? Uh, hoodie, 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 hoodlum, no. hoodie. She had a good name. <clears throat> Whatever. It was not hoodie hoodlum, but it was good. Ooh. That one's good. That's good too. Just let me just drink both of these and then I'll get back to you guys. I feel feel like the blue sun riesling is the Boone's farm of wines. What's a Boone's farm? Hi Kate. Hoodie house hoodie. There you go, Sandy. Thank you. All right, now we gotta 
hoodie house coat. Wait, I don't have a hood. There's no hood on. It's kind of like a, my cousin and I call sweaters with no hoods, noodies. Like it's a hoodie with no hoods. <laughs> it's a so noodie. It's That's a hoodie. An, it is an outdoorsy house coat, Sonia. I wish it had like a, <clears throat> I mean, I could wear it outside. I just don't. It's got a button like I was gonna. Boone's Farm is the bro college dude. Got, oh, I get you. I get you. All right. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I try. Sonia, have you ever seen me in my house, Joe? I used to work with Sonia. I don't think I ever wore this to work, Sonia. This is like when you basically want to have a blanket around you, but you don't want to be the person that walks around with a blanket around you, like in public or even at your house. No, I don't know what Boone's Farm is. Mm -mm. No, I've never heard of it. I don't know. I get some good slippers. You know what I'm talking about? It is leisure wear. Everybody should get a house coat on. Are you going to be near Ambler anytime soon? No. I'm going to see Fixer Upper. I love the couple. Where now? Right now? That's a real coat. <laughs> it is a house coat. It is not. All right. It probably is a real coat, but I'm not going to wear it, Sonia. You never saw it. Sonia, I was telling every, not everybody, a friend of mine about how your butt, your butt crack. <laughs> Sonia. Oh, ding! She knows what it means. I'm not going to say anymore. All right. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Last one. Oh, no, it's this one. It's the yellow one. Here we go. All right, tell us. So which is the one I do not like at all, which was in formerly known as Party Glass? Do you want to take a guess? I believe it's going to be the most expensive. I think it's Relax, because I don't like it. That's what I think. I am. I never like expensive wines. I don't like that at all. And of course, Missy, you're going to drink the rest of that one. All right, here we go. These two are both very good. Um, I like this one better. This one's a little sweeter. Which is this one? This I like this one because it's not as sweet. What is this one? This one's sweeter. Is the doc? Is it the dr doctor? This one. It's called. Yeah, this one's a little sweeter. So the doctors. Is eight sixty nine, so it's still a good wine if you like something that's a little sweeter. And you like the one with the sun on it. And I like the one with the cheesy sun on it, which of course is six dollars and sixty nine cents. Yet again, um, I'm a cheap date. And this is called Schmitzone Family Wines, crisp and fruity. Yeah, isn't that nice? Because there's more sugar in cheap wine. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe my body knows. I have such a show. You hate the real... I know. No. You know. Like, so, yeah. it, is it sweet? If I could have curled up on the set of any TV show I worked on, like just under a chair, I would have. Had I had my house hoodie with me, I probably would have. I can sleep anywhere. And just be like, you know, it's time to sleep. Just like lay down. I'm done. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is our winner tonight, Schmitzone. Has anybody ever heard of this wine, Schmitzone? Six sixty nine. It's good. Maybe I'm like the anti sommelier, like the cheapolier. They make three varieties of this. I know, Nicole. It does seem rigged. I'm for the poor people. Um, the blue glass. I do like the blue glass. Yeah, I should start collecting these. Um, yes, my necklace. That's my consolation prize from Live with Kelly. It did not come from them. I mean, I bought it myself, but I like to pretend it came from them. I, I got something out of it. Oh, this is good. Yeah, no, this one's not bad. The doctor, whoever, the doctor, is um, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. So right before we came on the air, my head itches still. Right before we, we came on the air, I was on my Facebook page, and <laughs> there is a story. I don't know how I'm going to feel in the morning. Probably not good. There is a story about a lady who there was like a, a crime. There was a crime committed, right? And they're going to do a, a press conference. So, like, the sheriff is there, and then all the other sheriffs and stuff behind him. And then there's a lady standing next to him, and she is signing. <clears throat> seemingly what he's saying no these are different ears and um we should decorate them yeah oh that'd be a good idea anyway so it turns out that this lady that's signing doesn't know how to sign 
So they went live with this press conference. And apparently it is not the first time that this has happened, with not just with her, but other people, where the, they said, why did you let this lady on to sign all this crazy stuff when, like, it's like a really, like, serious crime was committed? Which, of course, I don't remember. Yeah, fake sign language interpreters. So basically, the whole sign language community, like, lost their mind. And they were like, he's up there. He's like, you know, this man, 46 years old, was committed, blah, 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 blah. He, she went up there, and she was like, bear, chirpy chirp, three, seven, nine, fifty-six thousand. Just, yeah, started making stuff up. Yeah, yeah. I saw the bulk signing. I don't know what that means. What's bulk signing? Is that like you just, you're like, and it was kind of like this. I don't know. She literally, and you could see her, she did this a lot. <laughs> um, look, Steph, if you saw somebody doing that, you'd be like, that has to be. <laughs> right? This. Yes. I'd be like, if I can understand what you're saying, <laughs> chirpy chirp over the rainbow. That's not a real sign. That's not the real Eight sign. Or, if I can interpret <laughs> So then they said, yes, 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 it was in Florida. And she just, she made it up. And then they say, it did, it happened during the hurricane. So it turns out that this is like, the, hey, Liz Gale, it's like a thing that this is like, apparently there are like three or four instances of fake sign language interpreters um, that just go on. So they say to the police chief, they were like, why did you... <laughs> Why did you let her on the air? And then he said, she came into the station. She said, I'm here to sign for your conference. And he said, so I obviously just thought, okay, somebody must have decided to make a call and <clears throat> be, have this available to people that need it. Right? Yeah. Poor deaf people had no idea. Oh, they had an idea. They were the only okay. ones that had an idea. Because all the other people were like, oh, that looks, that looks a little chirpy chirp. What was, how is that part of a hurricane? They were like, all the birds were leaving. That's how we knew. That is not this. I don't know if anybody knows sign language. I'm pretty sure that is not a sign. Yeah. No, I'm telling you. That is great. So then in the article, it said that there was. There was her. And then there was one during the hurricanes. And then they said, there's a guy that was next to Barack Obama during a memorial service for Nelson Mandela, who was just making up some stuff. Uh, he was the one that was talking about the bears and the, <clears throat> yeah. And then when they were like, uh, could we get him down? Um, he said, I'm sorry, I, I have schizophrenia and I saw angels coming down from the stadium. So that's why I decided. I, did, I had to go up. I don't know. I don't know. I also heard she has an arrest record. No. Yeah. No. I don't. There's really no. I've never passed a police station during a high crime time and ever thought I should go in and interpret. Never. Maybe she was just Italian. That would be basically my mom going and be like, let me explain this to you. Now, now listen. All right. I was walking down the street. Yeah. I was like, I don't, was that today? Was it, it's funny. Yeah, no, I'm telling you, yeah, the deaf community lost their minds. And then they would say, well, you know, you have to just make sure that like qualified people are going up there. But like, how would you know if somebody came in? So I'm here to sign. Are you supposed to say, are you a real sign? Sign what I'm saying. You would never even know. So tonight's break, it goes well with Riesling. Yeah, but if we're a serial killer, no, I don't get it. I don't get people. I'm telling you, it's an outside agency that provides, I don't know what the rest of that sentence is. That provides interpretation. Yeah, but if she came in from outside and just said, yeah, I'm here to interpret, you might have thought like, hey, somebody... Does he not know that we show on? <laughs> Jim, you want to say anything? Because you're on Tipsy Tuesday. Oh, no. I don't have any pants on now. Oh, you have any pants on? Well, then we definitely want to have you stop by. Mm -hmm. No, the former party glass is here. It's all had everything. People have too much time on their hands. I'm telling you. Anyway, all right. Hello, 
Oh, no, 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 no. You were saying something. <laughs> Wait, inside the rind is penicillin. Who just wrote that? What? Yeah, you need to read that. What's in this rind? Penicillin. <laughs> Do you want to talk about the plumber said don't put rice down the sink? Yeah. Oh, it's the tip of the tipsy Tuesday. Oh, it's the tip? Tipsy Tuesday tip of the day about rice and putting it down your sink. Because you and my mom feel like this is the best time for you to talk about rice in the kitchen. Yeah. The, the brie, the brie it's harmless. It makes the brie taste better. You can eat it. If it smells very strong, penicillin is mold. That's what uh, mold is. Penicillin. Is this mold? I don't know, but I love that cheese. I don't know. I've eaten it before and I didn't die. Maybe I had an infection. No, uh, <laughs> and it actually, maybe I should No, remember we now. had that really good brie, like, omelet? Yes. Skillet. Mm -hmm. You know you're fat when you're talking about a skillet omelet that you had. <laughs> that was, let me think, Delray Beach. <laughs> they have good cookies here. No pants. Jim, everybody wants you to dance now that they know you don't have your pants on. Jim, come on. You could do a regular segment segment on Tipsy Tuesday called Plumbing Tips with Jim and his without pants on. Remember? So wait, last night. Hey, Trish. They're probably going to hire me. So last, last night, tell me if you ever had this mom moment where I literally can't even understand how children survive. <clears throat> so Brooke takes gymnastics. And I'm not sure why every sport these days has girls in hoochie pants. Am I the only one that notices volleyballs in hoochie pants, gymnastics is in hoochie pants? I mean, I get, I don't, everybody's hoochie pants anyway. So she's in her hoochie pants, right? So she's got like the tiniest little shorts on. I guess she has a top on. I don't know. So I got to pick her up from gymnastics, and I got to pick her up at 6.50, and then I got to drive her over to CCD. Now, normally during this very short timetable, it's 10 minutes, she slides on some pants, and she walks into CCD. Yeah, bathing suits and cheerleaders. I don't understand. Less clothes. So it's cold, right? I, I would have had my house coat on had I been inside, but I was outside. So, you know, I don't wear this. You will never see this coat. In if you ever see me in this coat, you should bring penicillin because that means that I am sick as a dog and I am basically wearing a blanket in public. Don't come near me if you see me in this coat. Anyway, <clears throat> so we get in the car, driving over to CCD, and I was like, hey, don't forget, put your pants on. She was like, mm, I don't have any pants. I said, you know what? It is literally 30 degrees out. You don't have pants? And she goes, mm, I forgot them. It's okay. I'll just go like this. Okay, you're going to walk in to see Jesus in your CCD with your hoochie pants on. You're going to go see Jesus like that? She's like, Mom, it's, it's not a big deal. And I said, you have no pants on. I said, do you even have a sweatshirt? She goes, oh, I don't have my sweatshirt. I have just my, have my big coat. So now she pulls this green puffy coat out, right? She has a giant puffy coat on and no pants. And then she, I said, I don't know why you are going to walk into CCD with this outfit on. Like people already like in town already think that I'm a crazy person. And then you're going to walk into CCD with no pants on. And then she looks at me, she goes, do you think anybody's going to notice how messy my bun is? I go with, without you having pants on? No, no one's looking at your, um, nobody's looking at your bun because you don't have pants on. Oh, so trust me, no one's going to notice your hair because you don't have pants on. Like I don't, like, what is the CCD teacher when, A, she's walking, she's walking in late, she's got a giant green puppy coat on, crazy bun in her hair, no pants. You're like, this mom is nailing it tonight. I bet she has a house coat. That's what she's thinking. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, he's looking at a bun, but it ain't the one on your head. It ain't the messy bun on your head. I tell you, like, I wonder, do you ever judge yourself based on your children? You just look at your kids, you're like, hmm, I am a horrible mother. Right? Because I don't care. I'm like, listen, you want to walk around? Yeah, like, mother, like, like.
like daughter, like father, you know? Just learning it. I mean, remember, like, I learned it from watching you, dad. You probably don't remember that commercial. You're too young. You, do, you, do you know what I'm talking about? A great drug commercial. I learned it from watching you. Nothing? Oh, come on. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Remember the commercial? Okay, here it is. Let me explain it. <clears throat> there were two drug commercials when we were younger. Uh, would you wear pants to CCD? No, you're right. He wouldn't. Um, <laughs> she still went to church, and that's about That's right. Jesus is like, I'll take all you. Take y'all with your messy bun, you know, mm -hmm. pants on. I don't care. So two drug commercials when we were young, okay? It'd be like this kid, right? And it's like, doing drugs or something in a room. It's like real quiet. And then the dad walks in like real man. <clears throat> yeah, 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 that's the other one. That's your brain on drugs. And then the dad would come in and be like, drugs are wrong, you can't do drugs. And then they start fighting. And she goes, who's teaching you this stuff? She goes, I learned it from watching you. Yeah, and you were like, oh, my dad does drugs, so I'll do drugs too. That wasn't the message, but that's, don't do what your dad's doing. Essentially the same, CCD, no pants. Jim, no pants. Okay, then there was another commercial. Okay, this one. You had to really think about. You don't remember any of these. How old are you? How old are you? 25? It's going to be 26. They don't remember these commercials. This was a breakthrough. Okay, so first, it's a commercial, right? Real plain, all right? And this girl's in the kitchen. So it's, it's like, so it's real slow. You just see the close-up of a girl. She's in the kitchen. And she's like, kind of like, Real sassy, and she gets a frying pan. And she said, Well, first she has a frying pan in this hand, and she got an egg. And she says, <laughs> She says, This is your brain. That's the egg. This is your brain. This is drugs. And then somehow she put them both down, and the pot would. Already, I guess, be hot. I don't know how, because it's in her hand. And then she cracked the egg and put the egg. Yeah, it sizzled up. Just, I think I watched it in This class. is your brain on drugs. I and you're like, mmm, I'm hungry. Like, that's what most of us do. <laughs> I think I watched that in my That is unfortunate. Class. But now I'm hungry. Hmm? You remember it? I think I watched that in health Very class. powerful. The egg in the pan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's time. Let's have a drink. YouTube that stuff later. Do you have like, is there a commercial that was like a drug, like a big one for you? Mm -hmm. uh, no, Don I Arnold. just keep singing that Dare song in my head. What's the Dare song? Yeah. Oh, we don't know that. It, they didn't have Dare when we were younger. They just had that weird egg and the thing and the don't do drugs. And I learned from watching you. What's the Dare song? Come perform it. Let's say it. Because okay. I know you know it. Last time you did your Mary Poppins. Oh, you got pants on. Do you have any more? Do you have any more plumbing tips you'd like to give in the middle of Tipsy Tuesday? Jesus don't care. You're right. Oh, we just lost. <laughs> and then we went, oh, did you see that? I said, Jesus don't care. And then we lost the signal. He does care. He wants you to have pants he on. He does care. He, he does. Wear pants. All right, so now what I is this? Oh, Jim, oh, 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 go away. Oh, Jim, yeah. come on over. You got put, now yeah, it's going to upset everybody. They have pants say, on. Load washer. Nobody can see. Let it run. <laughs> load the washer. Let it run. And then when it stops, let it sit there for four days until your husband goes down and puts it in the dryer. That's not what it says. The clothes got to wash them again now. They stink. Jim is like, what's the, who's the guy um, on huh. Tool Time? Yeah, where you never yeah, actually wait, see what? his Wilfred? face? No. Wilfred. No, I don't know. Wilson? Wilson. Wilson. Wilfred. Yeah. But your name will be Wilfred. Wilfred, come give us a tip. Oh, I'm getting hot in my house coat. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. Woo! No grease down the drain. Wait, no rice. Oh, wait, no, wait, you're oh, right. no rice. The laundry didn't move. Yeah, of course it didn't move. Unless she wonders why she has no pants, because they're all sitting over there. Roseanne Barr did what? All right, now we're ready for your dare song. Hello, my dare song? Any questions? Yeah, that was any questions. This is your brain. This is Joe's. Your brain on Joe's. Any questions? Wilfred is his name. Mm -mm. He's going to be Wilfred. Oh, Wilfred. All right, so <laughs> this is what? This is what they taught you in the dare program. In fifth grade. And you put it to music? No, they or put you it to dance. Music. They put it to mm -hmm. music. All right. Gotta make this one up. I can't take credit for it. I don't know. I this is the like police gonna... officers of Gloucester Township. <laughs> okay. This is a shout out to the Gloucester Township Police Department. If you've ever wondered if your work has a lasting effect, she learned this song when she was 12. She's she 25. Like whatever. And 
Here we go. Okay, like this. D, I won't do drugs. A, won't have an attitude. R, I will respect myself. E, I will educate me now. That's all I remember from there. And we got a shirt that said dare. That's all I got. It said what? D-A-R-E. And what does that stand for? D, D. I, I won't do, do drugs. drugs. A, A, won't have an attitude. R, I will respect, respect myself. myself. E, e, I will educate, educate. me now. That's that a is a horrible song. I can be Fox. Ready? Ready? Five. D. What's five? Was, Where did five come from? That wasn't even a four, three, two, one. I four. was counting one, you. One, two, was it? You, you counted five, five, six, seven, eight. But then you just went five and you started it. I can't work like this. Five, six, seven. <laughs> Seventeen. <gasps> no, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, go ahead. Just, just be Fox. <laughs> D. I won't do drugs. A. R, I will respect myself. E, I will educate me now. <laughs> Still horrible. Still horrible song. Colby well, came over. You can over take it up with the Gloucester Township it. Police because Gloucester they tell me well. We're going to need to do a remake of your song. I don't think they sing fifth grader and they didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Ten years ago, there was somebody said, that is a dumb Look, song. People are saying they Stop play, okay? teaching that to kids. Look, Lisa Holt, she's my, she's my bestie. She put a heart. <laughs> Kayla, Kayla said, <laughs> I'm going to have some more wine. So. Pippa time. Pippa time. There should always be a song. Someone said dope, LOL. All right. I wonder if Wilfred will come back with any more tips. It is way too complicated. It didn't rhyme. Why can't you have an attitude? That's where Lizzie that part came Lizzie out of nowhere. Said, do the bully song. No, we got the bully song. We got to save it. When is National Don't Bully People Week? That probably already happened. I think it was in November. Yeah, we got we to gotta wait till it comes back around, miss. Yeah, that's, that's we got to start one. learning the song in September so we can all sing it together. Here comes Dean. He's you singing. You can hear him when he's coming. <laughs> Dean? Yeah. My mom is playing the show back on the other side. Dean, come here. We're going to do a little thing tonight for your birthday. Oh, what are you going to do? Um, Missy, I'll show you. Come over here. Come celebrate your birthday with everybody. Birthday. Nobody cares about your birthday. <laughs> Drug abuse and resistance educate. Where has the Sean go? show gone? Oh, Nowhere just... good. Nowhere good. Toast for the teachers. There we go. Toast for the teachers. Where Where we um, I would get a chair. Oh. Yeah, I like this one. Huh? You like that one? That's the doctor. That one's an eight dollar one. Oh, got hey, Brian from Hollywood. All right, so let's talk to Dean Michael. Your dog barked, and it made mine bark. Yeah, that's the Colby. Say hi, oh. Dean. Say hi, Hello. everybody. Oh. Hmm. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you so much. All right. So here we go. It's Dean's birthday yesterday. Look, he did his hair. Oh, tomorrow is his. Uh, someone else's birthday. What is, 45. Look at your hair. You can see it, right? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So Missy was kind enough to um, make oh. a list. Do you know this already? No, no, no. I just, I just read it. I just read what was on. You just page. read it that quickly? The whole thing? All right. Well, not the whole thing, but All I, get, right. I get the premise. So Missy would like, do you have homework to do? No. Do you have homework to do? Okay, then we have to hurry up. Okay. Um, so Missy printed out a list of all the things that you can do now that you're 18. Most of these you're not allowed to do. Legally, you can. Legally, I can, but you that are doesn't not mean allowed. I should. It means you're not allowed because your mom said. That's okay. different. Okay. So we will go through the list. Okay. So name some things that you think you can do now that you're 18, and we'll see how many are left. Uh, <clears throat> well, I know that I can, I can be drafted. You can join the military. Yes. Okay. I know that <coughs> I, I can go see rated R movies. No, you can't. What? That is not on the list. Yes, it is at the bottom. Shh. <laughs> See a rated R movie is at the bottom. Uh, what else? I know that I can get. I can get my. It's like 
I don't know if it's a pro I have the probationary license now, but there's like a like a big boy license. It says boy does it, no, does it, it actually says alone? Oh, okay. Um or big boy or license. Big boy licenses. Uh, la, 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 la. What else can you do? I don't I that's I think that's it. That's all that's I know. All. There's 14 more on here. Can oh, you oh, wait. Can go away? No. Oh, wait. oh yeah, I can get I can get a tattoo. Some people again, can get a tattoo. That's I, not I it says some people can get a tattoo. Um I just had something I forgot. That one's good. All right. Do you have any ideas? Anybody want to give um Dean oh, some ideas? What? I, I can buy I haven't used this yet, but I can buy M rated games at GameStop without checking in with my parent first. Look, buy a lotto ticket. Well, Oh, that is true. Ticket. That is true. You can buy a lottery or, ticket. Or games against Stay up past midnight. That is not true. You have to be in bed. He can wear pants to CCD. That is correct. Is wear that pants to CCD. Buy cigarettes, but you shouldn't. What? I thought it was 21. There was 18. <clears throat> no, it's, it's on here. Get ready to get my like oh right uh can I sign for like a like I guess like like there's parent forms like the guardian you can check when yourself says, out of school when it says parent or guardian you can't check yourself out of school why are you telling him that yeah, get married is correct you can't I can get married no at no that, you can't that doesn't seem right vote you can vote oh right I, now uh, that's okay. I love that big one so I can't vote. here. all right what else oh no here it is <clears throat> uh, someone said get a piercing get a piercing. No. Cigarettes? We already had cigarettes. That we already did that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and buy cigarettes. Vote. Vote. We have that. There's a lot left. He cannot get married, Marisol. I like the last one. Say bad words. No. No. Because Jesus says no. All right. Let's see. You can open a bank account. There would be no oh, point well, since you have no money. I don't, what, don't I already have a bank account? <clears throat> you have a kid bank account, essentially. <laughs> so, like, does it carry over? Nothing. or does it... You can wear a house coat. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> wear oh, house coat. Someone said get a credit card? Jury duty. Wait, can I actually do jury duty? You can do That's jury like, duty. I know people oh, say it's like... Say, oh, cigarettes is 21. You no. can make your own no. doctor's appointment. I think they just moved it. You're right. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Wait, wait. So wait, can I can I get put on a jury duty? Order online. There's something here about that pants. Work at Domino's. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any others you got? Can I actually like? You want to go to jury duty? Well, I well because like credit card. Oh yeah, credit card. To go with your bank account that has no more money in it. Buy yeah. Anything bank. else? Um, Someone said you can put your clothes in the dryer. <laughs> I can flip all the by yourself. Out. I can do the you dishes. You can clean your room. Military, uh, we got like already that in one. that. Be responsible for own bills. bills. Like, yeah, so that's not true. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you can donate blood. I thought you oh. could donate no, earlier. No, you cannot can, donate no, earlier. Yes, you can't give blood a, away. We had a blood drive. But Seniors and kids were just giving away. I got my new speaking good at bathroom by himself now. I, I already do that. No, so you you're not do that you should go to your homework. All right. You can. I'll get a piercing. There we go. We already said that one. You can go bungee jumping. No, you cannot. Can? No, I'm not saying that. Can I go skydiving? You can go skydiving. You cannot buy a mail order bride. You can be charged as an adult, so do not murder anybody. Oh. And if you do murder somebody, oh. make sure that wait, the person signing wait, oh, you at your event <laughs> wait, wait, you is an official sign. Wait, you meant like, like, or I will go up and be like, I'm going to wait. kill you. No, no, no. I thought no. When you said charged as an adult, I thought you meant like a like a like the old country buffet. I would be counted as an adult. Oh. On the you menu. are at the that is actually uh, that's on what, here that's what I at thought. the old that's country like, buffet. That's what I thought you meant not the whole. Like, which, just so you know, when you were little, you called the old crunchy buffet. At the old crunchy buffet, you are an adult. So, Grandma can no longer um, sneak you into the old crunchy buffet. Wait, well, jury duty. I feel like pe people say it's like boring and they go to an adult. Why would I go? Getting real deep here. Buy a motorcycle. That is not true. You cannot <laughs> turn, do that. Turn right on red. <laughs> turn right on red. Um, Book a cruise for you and your mom to go on because you uh, love your mom so much. 
commit a parent to the hospital. <laughs> that to, seems weird to bring to up. Dance clothes. He can make eggs and do the dishes. Oh. You can sue okay. someone. I can. Probably your dad for not wearing pants. You can buy a yellow binder. You can buy a car. This is by fireworks. You can buy fireworks. It's on here. I didn't know I could do anything. You could go to a festival go, without your dad. To to you college. have to bring your mom. That's what it says. You, no. You can change your name. I can? What would you change it to? Frosty? Probably Frosty. Frosty Blizzard? Frosty Blizzard. He was mad because I didn't name him Frosty when he was She was going to name me Frosty. I thought that would have been the coolest name. Frosty Blizzard. Yeah, that's not weird at all. I thought it would be Go to college. Pay for college. Hey, Shane, it's good to see you. Do your, your own, own laundry. laundry. You can gamble. I can? Can he gamble on New Jersey? No, that's 21. It's on here, though. So somewhere you must be able to gamble at 18. Pennsylvania, can he gamble? <laughs> My son. Okay. Move, move out. out. Move out. There you go. You can pawn something. So is that like just like go to a pawn shop and then they just. See, I'm not really sure how pawn it. works. You go like and see, like you could, like if you need money, you give them something like that. Santa, if you can bring them Santa. Oh, wait, so I can just start like giving away our stuff to pawn shops? Okay. Maybe, you know what? If that would be say so that. funny. Someone said put gas in your car, but we're still in New Jersey. Yeah, no, uh, you can't put gas in your car. Wait, wait, okay, back to jury duty. Is it people say jury duty is like boring and everything? But oh, like, no, is I it fun? It. Mm -mm. No, yeah. Because like I feel like you, you get days off from you get to leave school, right? I don't think they take kids in school. Well, well if it's eighteen, on a cruise. Or on a cruise. <laughs> wait, Rosie's here. So Rosie's son, Rosie's daughter Mary. So Aunt Rosie posted a picture that Mary Mary made. Right? I'm gonna draw it. I'm gonna draw it real quick. Someone said concealed carry permit. Mm -hmm. I can no, you cannot carry a gun. All right, Rosie, I'm just spitballing here. All right, so her daughter, Mary, <laughs> made this thing. And just, just totally, it said, it said uh, this is just, <laughs> how old is Mary, Rosie? <laughs> it's not the same, I gotta find it. But she made a picture, it's much prettier. And it was like a hand, and then it just said, kick it, suckers. That's what she drew. Is she, what is she, how old is she's her? six? Oh. I don't know. But duty, no Rosie was like, what is it? And I said, what is that? And she it's said, sad. I don't She said, I don't know what it means. I said, I know what it means. It means kick it, suckers. Why would she, it was a big hand that says kick it, suckers. Yeah. Oh, wait, can't buy a gun. In we should, day. um, we sure. should take. Someone said jury duty is great. Yeah. I you can drink alcohol. Well, you could adopt. adopt. Who you gonna, you want to adopt your sister? <laughs> You can watch her. Our, our, hey, Rosemary. It's good to see you. Seven. Rosie. Oh, she's seven. Kick it, suckers. That's what I would say. When they're like, somebody's yelling at me or something. Oh, someone said they want, like, they want to get a sweatshirt. Or kick it, suckers. Frosty Blizzard is too seasonally specific. <laughs> you would have to change it in the springtime. Date an older woman. That is not true, Chelsea. Suckers kick me. Oh, suckers kick me. Kick it, suckers. Suckers kick me. Very different. Very different. Maybe she's. Who is hitting her? Somebody's hitting her. Who was that? Was that the rest of the list? Suckers kick me. Now mm, there's a couple more in there. We don't need to go over that. You can. Okay, we can go over them later. Mm -mm. Okay, now you're all just being mean. All right. What is all, all right, of what, you what trying a, to get him a mail what, order bride? What is a mail order bride? Nothing. It's when you hang out with your mom on Sundays and you take her to the old French buffet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Happy oh, birthday. We love you. you. Thank See you. See you later. Okay. You would you tell me about my song? No, we can't release it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's it can't be released. Thing. All yeah, right. So for his birthday, we're going to. Um, yeah. These are all good ideas. All right. So here we go. Let's see. Oh, the raffle. Where is the raffle? This. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. All right, bingo. Oh, my God. When I was little, and we would go to church, and then all those old ladies used to come in for bingo, and I was like, man, I can't wait until I am old enough to play bingo. I just thought it was the greatest thing in the whole world. I still think it's the greatest thing in the whole world. What's an old crunchy buffet? What's an old crunchy buffet? Come on, you guys. Old crunchy buffet. You guys don't have old country buffet? There's the restaurant chain. 
and it's called the Old Country Buffet. How would you describe it? So An old country buffet. buffet. It's, it's a not, buffet in the country. Like mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Yeah. It's got a whole bunch of like buffets. There's like a there's like a cake buffet, an ice cream buffet, and then it's got <clears throat> the it's a salad buffet. And so it's called the old country buffet. And then um but when the kids were little, they'd be like, Can we go to the old country buffet? We are old enough to bingo. It's very exciting. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. It's time for the raffle. You can bingo here in Maine at 16, and we call it Bino. Oh. That's too many letters. B-I-N-G-O. B-E-A-N-O. No, you're right. That's still weird. All right, here we go. It is a huge buffet. All right, let's go to our raffle. Ready? Are we ready? This is so exciting. So um, now get outfits horrible here. I don't know what that Like Golden Corral. It is to Golden Corral. All right, so let's see. Let's go to our raffles. Let's see who's here today. Oh, it's called Town Buffet. I don't know what furs is. All right. Liana? Liana Candelero. Liana Candelero. Anybody? Anybody close to Liana Candelero. <clears throat> we have a very exciting present. It's based on last week's uh, theme, which was me being sick the whole time and trying to um, take as many home remedies as possible. Um, <clears throat> she is Liana Candelero. Where are you? Let me see. So we have something special. I don't want to open it for you, but I kind of do because um, I love these. Um, oh, there she is. Hey, Liana. Okay. So last week on the show, um, I had like a head cold and I was like feeling gross. And so I got, um, what was it? Peppermint? No, you had like some. It was mint. No. Some Pepper. Flour. Eucalyptus. <laughs> I don't know. I had an essential I oil. Right? So that's what we have this week is a package of essential, uh, essential oils. And so if you don't have an infuser, you can get one. I didn't get you an infuser. Um, but there's all different flavors in here. And you can, so the eucalyptus is good and helps you relax. I'll have to put up a picture of the infuser. I, what? Why does the dog have a package of rice cakes? Anybody? Nobody? <sighs> The whole house is here. And the only person that sees the dog has a package of rice Okay. Yeah, and oregano. There's no oregano in here, Liana, but hopefully you will love it anyway. So we'll send this out to you. So just make sure you um, Facebook message us and let us know your address and stuff, and we'll ship it out to you. It's very exciting. And if you haven't done so already, look at QVC Santa. He is telling you it's holiday season is Chardonnay go. Um, because it's been selling on Amazon. It's very exciting. So we've actually been really busy closing out our year. Um, so this is Chardonnay Go. If you're looking for a fun present, we actually are in the process of uh, ordering our next set of games because we are running out of games. So our first 5,000 are on their way out. Lots of them have gone to Amazon just recently. Um, so we are very excited. Hold on, Santa. Um, so if you haven't had a chance, you can go to Chardonnay Go, or you can go to Amazon. If you've tried the game, do me a favor and leave a review, um, because, um, what does he have now? Kobe, come here. Kobe, come here. Come show everybody what you have. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, he says I can't see you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, what is it? A bag of coins. There it is. Um, does the game come with a bottle of anything? It does not come with a bottle. It is BYOB. So you don't have to drink. You can drink whatever you like. If you have a favorite Riesling that you would like to drink, our favorite of the night for $6.69, if you like Riesling, is Schmidt Schoen. I don't really never heard of them before. QVC saying this because he doesn't want to give up something. I can't read the rest of it, Kimberly. I'm sorry. Let's take a moment to um, talk about next week. Next week is Shiraz week. So it's going to be very exciting. We're going to be doing our Gouda again. Not the smoke that makes me throw up. Um, so we'll be doing some Shirazes. I think I like Shiraz, but we'll see which one I like the best. Let's go through our cheers if you know of somebody. Oh, I also want to do a shout out 
We have a, a follower named Darlene and her and her daughter, Laura, watch us. And uh, so I just want to say hello to them. They sent me a lovely note this week. So <laughs> cheers to Laura. Also want to say hi to all of our military, all of their families that are home keeping uh, the home front warm and all of those that are serving overseas, especially during this holiday season um, and keeping them safer uh, for all of us. So cheers to them. Mm -hmm. Melissa just joined. Hey, Melissa, it's good to see you. I hope you have a glass of wine in your hands. It's Riesling night and I chose this one. It's a $6 Riesling was the best one. Let's do a cheers to our teachers. Let's not forget them. Yes, there it is, Chelsea. To all of our teachers, I hope they don't get mugs. I hope they don't get um, apples. What's another dumb teacher present? Can I love candles. I don't think teachers want candles. I, I can't. If I could literally just light my house up with candles, I would do it. Hey, Sarah, it's good to see you. We're talking and we're doing our cheers. We did our military. Let's cheers to all of our autism moms. I know we have a lot that watch. Also, um, any of those moms that are out there um, raising children that are a little different, this was uh, <clears throat> not the best week here uh, for things. So um, if there's anybody out there with a child with anxiety, uh, it have, rules our roost here, especially this week. So anybody that uh, is being an advocate for their child in every way, and enjoying Tipsy Tuesday and some wine with us. Um, cheers to you. Uh, I saw first responders go by. So to our first responders, when I had my kidney stone, my first responder was so nice. I don't remember her name, but she came in. And I was literally like <clears throat> doubled over in pain. Like I couldn't even. Band booster moms. Yeah. Band booster nerd moms. I was a nerd. And I want to thank my mom and all her nerd friends for keeping that band booster stuff going. We love it. Mm -hmm. Teacher ornaments. That's a good idea. ADHD cheers. There you go. I can feel you. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Anybody I'm missing? Three more minutes of drinking wine. Am I forgetting anybody? Teacups for Christmas. Oh, that sounds nice. I did. I told her to, to make sure she contacts us. Yeah, meltdowns. There's a lot going on over here. We're doing our best to find a nice, yes, child with depression. I hear you. We're all nurses. Let's hear it for our nurses. Mm -hmm. My friend gave her teacher a bottle of scope. What? We had a panic attack. In the house. Mm -hmm. Dance moms. Yeah. It's just, let's just drink some more wine. Listen, I want to give out. Cheers out to my teachers <clears throat> who have been great in working. And I know all of those moms of children that are a little different know what I'm talking about. Because when you get the calls, you get a letter home, you say some stuff's going on here, and you go, thank you for telling me. Let me see what I can do. And we all trying to work together to make it better. So that was my day, my week. So there you go. Teachers at Christmas. Everybody, dogs, I don't, whatever, people who sell wine. Yeah, to people who sell wine. This is what we couldn't even do this. Couldn't even do it. UPS, okay. UPS workers, FedEx, anybody that brings presents to my house, cheers to you. Amazon, cheers to you. Mm -hmm. Breast cancer survivors, cheers to you. Just anybody. Literally, I don't know if there's anybody you can put something up, like you can't shoot. Is there anybody? Oh, the lady that didn't do the sign. Did it. Although it was very entertaining. I just, <laughs> we're just like, <laughs> just in the middle. Yank, yank. I don't know. <laughs> Xanax. There you go. Cheers, Xanax. Try Geminal, whatever you, I it went away, but that too. Dog mom, everything. It just, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Something with a blue Santa. I don't even know what you're talking about. All right, moms who cook, I cheers to you. I tried, I tried to vacuum under my desk the other day, and I literally was about the whole, I, they might, I don't think they vacuum, but if they do vacuum, they let, you know how there's the line that says don't fill past here, and then the dirt is up to here, and as you're vacuuming, you're wondering where it could go. Where else could, it, it can't get in, because they refuse to empty the canister. I'm not going to empty it. 
I'm going to do the same thing everybody else is doing. But it makes me, it's like a, it's like a black hole. I can't, I can't figure out the physics. Where is it? Is it going up in it? I don't, we'll have to, well, this, well you know, this is what we're starting. <laughs> we start here. Somebody remind me of this whole vacuum. I can't. Vacuum. I'm going to put the vacuum right here. You can see how it's just filled up. It's our last cheers of the night. So yeah, 4D vacuums later. Um, school nurses, there you go. I'm just, just saying, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this off in about a second. I'm just gonna keep doing this, <laughs> and keep drinking the rest of this wine for the rest of the night. Yeah, the vacuum canister because nobody else can see it. There should just be a lady that just comes to everybody's house and does that. You know, they have people that just come pick up your dog poop. There just be a lady that just goes house to house. You just leave the vacuum out. She comes in, cleans it out. Yeah, my tree's up. The tree's up. There's nothing on it. I'm gonna hope that there's something on it next week. Just the letter B. Just the B word. Yeah, just, just a, this will cheer you up. For anybody that's thinking, I'm a little behind on the holidays, this is how far we got. Look, <laughs> there's a tree and one ornament. That's my present to you. For those of you that were feeling bad about yourselves. It's kind of Christmas. So you're welcome. Have a good night, everybody. Next week for Tipsy Tuesday. Later. Watching. I can't see any.